Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so today I am literally just randomly out in this park. It's actually the Chantanu Lagoon. This is a favorite spot of mine. I don't know, I grew up like walking in this area and I have always wanted to like film something here, but there are so many birds that I was like, the audio will be terrible. So I brought my microphone and you might be able to see a few birds behind me it's very peaceful for some reason i like watching birds i think it's really fun <laughs> okay so i kind of just wanted to do like a little sit down update chatting video i feel like every single person in my life has been asking me oh so what are you doing now are you back in alaska for good or are you moving back to new york i didn't even really know so i was kind of sick of getting these questions but as i am figuring it out I will update you all. That's what this is. So this is going to be kind of like a why I left New York and what are my plans moving forward? What am I doing with my life? All that kind of stuff. I was going to make this a Q&A, but I was like, I feel like this will be good enough. First of all, I have this microphone with me today, not only for the birds, but because I'm starting a podcast. I will be launching my podcast, which I've been very excited about. I have always wanted to start a podcast. I love podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. And I think a lot of the reason why I like to make videos is literally just to like connect with people and talk. And I still love making videos. I just had my 10 year anniversary on um july 7th or something of this channel before that it was actually kind of interesting like i had tried to start a youtube channel with anyone who would start one with me my sister my best friends from childhood i was just like please start a youtube channel with me and i would always try to make them and i would always post like a few videos a few things and then it just wouldn't work out and I guess that's actually how this podcast is coming to be too. I initially tried starting it with my sister and she's just like, honestly, this sounds like something that you should just start on your own. And it was honestly kind of a dream come true to start it at your mom's house. I just loved the idea of having time to like sit down and just like talk about things in a designated space. Like that's not actually really something that you do that often and also sometimes I just have the most amazing conversations and I'm just like wow I really wish that that was recorded for my own keeping and whatnot so I'm starting a podcast really my only barriers is I'm trying to think of a name I'm debating between just going with unemployed millennial or just completely coming up with a new name that's more SEO friendly as Elliot has been advising me. I have a few names in mind, but if you have any really good ideas, let me know because I'm trying to launch my podcast like next week. I just really wanna get it started and that is my only barrier right now. I'm kind of thinking of a few ideas or I might just keep Unemployed Millennial. We'll see, but my first episode is with my mom and we have actually a really good chat about kind of like her upbringing, my upbringing. It's actually really a great heart to heart kind of conversation that is a great example of like a podcast that I am happy to have recorded because like that's something that even like when I have kids my kids can listen to that and be like oh like that's the kind of relationship that you had with your mom it's just capturing a moment in time which I think is very beautiful I am also just excited to have something to look forward to doing with other people I think I've realized in my creative career that I really cannot do this by myself if I'm just by myself it's very like isolating it's not fun so I always like involving and showcasing other people I think that I have a really diverse interesting Rolodex of friends just like from all over different aspects of my life whether it be from growing up in Alaska going to school at USC being in YouTube. So I'm super excited to just like be able to capture a very real aspect of my life. Look out for the podcast coming out pretty much this week. Suggest so some names below <laughs> if I haven't already picked one. Maybe that would be super helpful. So why I left New York. I've been in Alaska for over a month. I got here pretty much the beginning of June. Why I left New York, it all kind of worked out for me to even stay in May because I left my old apartment and I was kind of planning on just moving my stuff back here. And then my friend Elena posted on her close friend story that she was trying to sublet her place to someone while she was traveling. Literally probably five days before I had my mom 
come fly out to help me move all of my stuff. So I was like, I would love to stay in New York. So that really just fell into my lap and I was very grateful for that. So I still went home to bring like most of my stuff home and then eventually went back and I was there for about two weeks in May. During the time in May, I was like, okay, I can use this as a buffer period to try to maybe find a new place or figure out what I'm going to do next. Currently in the market of New York City rentals, if you are an entrepreneur or, you know, like you don't have a monthly steady paycheck coming in from a job, a traditional job, you have to be making 40 times your monthly rent or you have to have a guarantor sign co-sign with you because they basically want to guarantee that you'll be able to pay rent which makes sense the 40 times thing is absolutely insane though in addition to that when i moved to new york in october granted elliot was pretty much the one who found our place and was doing all of the legwork for finding a place which is a whole nother task on its own but in October of 2021 versus summer of 2022 rental prices have gone up at least at the time in like May end of May they were up at least 25 percent that is what our person who helped us find our apartment told me with the 25 percent rent increase just from like as a baseline price in addition to needing like 40 times your income it's just actually actually like not possible for me to find a place to rent long term at least so with that I was kind of just like uh, I need some time to figure it out looking back on it that was actually the best case scenario for me because I ended up filming like four videos in New York and I work with an editor but it's still a lot of editing time for me so I literally took like all of June to post those videos usually I kind of pride myself in being able not even pride myself I just like on my channel how I can film something and then put it out pretty quickly but that was a huge relief to me to just kind of have a buffer of time because again this like whole YouTube career is still pretty new to me and I just have had no idea how it would go. It's also really weird being home because I've tried doing YouTube at home before. Last summer I was doing this whole thing and it's just very weird because it's kind of like the same day-to-day -day thing and routine but it's I'm at a very different place in my channel obviously thanks to like moving to New York being in a creator house being with all of those creators and like meeting so many people I am now starting from experience so with rent prices being 25% higher probably more at this point I literally saw a video of the rental process it was an auction for rent prices where people just showed up at a place because it was available for rent and then they had to bid on rent or something essentially I decided that I would probably just try to come back to New York at the end of summer. In hindsight, I think this is actually really good for me because I wanted to spend some time in Alaska anyway. And when I was paying $3,000 in rent, that just seemed like a huge sunk cost for me to come out here for a month or however much time. So I kind of have honestly the freedom and flexibility now to be or do whatever I want and at first I was like okay yes that means that I will be traveling Europe but now I'm kind of just like I spent a month here I've had an incredible time it has honestly been the most incredible summer that I've ever experienced in Alaska it's actually really bizarre I've gotten probably more of a tan than I have in Alaska than I have like at any beach outing every single day in the month of June was like stunning and there were like record high temperatures which is because of climate change but it was a bizarrely nice summer and the weather was super nice for Nick and Elliot too it's just been really nice here so what are my future plans every single time someone asks me this question I just say I'm going with the flow because honestly I don't even really know and I am kind of just going at the flow of like what comes up but I am trying to structure some things out so I think my plan is to return to New York after the summer where I hope things will come down at least like a little bit in the meantime I have plans to travel to Washington to visit some of my friends there, creator friends and my entire extended family lives in Washington so I'll be doing that later this month and then I will return to New York 
in August. My plans are to be there August 1st. I potentially have an option to sublet, but I'm not sure if that will go through. So right now I'm kind of just in the process of looking for short-term rentals that I can do, which I expect to be more expensive, but I think it's worth the flexibility of just having a place so that I can be there and figure out my next steps while I'm there. The reasons why I want to be in New York is it is undeniably better for growth. There are so many creators in New York right now. A ton of my very close friends are in New York right now. One of my best friends, Jerry, is going to be there this month. Being in New York is undeniably better for my channel. So I do plan on making my way back there. I still don't know what's after August. I'm pretty much figuring things out like one month at a time even like a week at a time which i actually kind of like i have found that i very much value flexibility and just kind of like i don't know if you have this level of flexibility if you can pull it off then things come up and opportunities come up that you can jump on so i love the flexibility some of my concerns in moving back to new york even beyond just like the whole rent thing and the prices right now is that we are entering a recession like literally everywhere on my twitter people are talking about the recession, what that means, what that means for brands, what that means for influencers. And even I've seen that people have pulled back funding or rates for my partnerships. And I don't even do that many. So it's like 50% of my partnerships have reduced their rate or have tried to cancel. Again, like I can't tell my channel is performing less because I have made a huge switch to it. So maybe it's that, but I also am just very unsure of the future with the recession coming. So yeah, I don't really know what's happening. Those are kind of my thoughts concerns, perspectives, and plans. One thing about being in Alaska is every single time I'm back, I have such a good time that I'm like, I could stay here longer. But then I think that I'm at a point in my life where I am trying to focus more on my career than, you know, being home. And also it is just hard to live here. Like imagine 20 straight days of beautiful weather, which is just like such a dream, but it's also like 20 hours of sunlight it's just it does something to you so <laughs> i think it's good but i don't know i love it here i grew up here this is definitely home i think i also need to focus on building my outer world instead of just like nurturing my inner world it has to be a balance i want to create some more alaskan videos it's weird for me to create videos from my home because i'm just like first of all i don't really know what people find interesting because i think alaska is very interesting i also want to kind of show like more culture it's something i'm trying to do i would also love to do some cooking videos with my mom i'm planning on going to washington i will see maybe some family my friend Catherine, my friend shelby will probably make a video or two some podcast episodes and then i plan on going to colorado for this thing that I was invited to called Creator Camp, which I'm actually really excited about. I really have no idea what to expect, but it sounds like something exactly up my alley. Probably something that I even tried to do like a little bit here in Alaska with Alaska friends. So that will be the end of this month. And then I plan on being in New York. These plans are more than I've known for the last like month or two. So that's really a lot for me. So I'm excited to actually have something to plan and look forward to. That is what you can look forward to in terms of content as well. Yeah, I'm still just very much figuring things out every single day. I'm super excited to start my podcast though. And I'm very much looking forward to the collaborative aspect. As I'm figuring out kind of my boundaries with the internet, which I think everyone who is on the internet and has social media should do. I am trying to get better at replying to comments because I like interacting and I like the interaction, but sometimes I'm just like, I don't really need to be seeing like everything. This one, let's talk. And for the other ones, I'll figure out a better balance. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support on my videos this past month. And as I've been just kind of moving around, I like the flexibility. Hopefully you guys do too. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.